Welcome back everyone, it's Adam here from Adam's Nintendo World, and we're back with Xenoblade Chronicles 3 on Nintendo Switch. On the last episode, we learned all about the Collectopedia, and a little bit more about the story, and that we're actually on a Royal Decree mission. And should we succeed, our colony is actually going to go up to Silver Rank, which is pretty dope, because we usually would have to go to Iron Rank first. But this is such a high-profile mission, the colony could get an upgrade all the way to Silver Rank, so of course, we want to do... A really good job. We also learned about a bunch of new kind of enemies that we could fight and so much more It was it was really a a packed episode. Let's call it that way. It was a packed episode of things to do and um, And I quite enjoyed every minute of it. So let's hop right back into it Continuing on with the story right here. We're gonna meet up with our troops and see what's going on Rendezvous point up ahead. Since Napon can't use irises, isn't it pain to have to keep fiddling with a terminal? No fear, Riku takes it in stride. Also, if pretend to not look at terminal, can ignore all sorts of troublesome and tiresome communications. Whoa, that's kind of smart. And we're about to fight something. Riku, watch out! It was camouflaged as a rock? We're gonna have to face it. Here it comes! All right, battle time. I'm excited. We haven't fought kind of a big boss since that first one we did in uh, episode one. And let's be real, that wasn't that big. Let me come around to the back side. Because that's where we can do the most damage. We are also far away from our allies, so if we need to be healed up or anything like that, that could potentially be uh, a problem. But look how quickly we are dealing with this. Look how quickly we're dealing with it. Everybody seems to be in actually okay spot. Um, you know what? Maybe this isn't as big of a boss as I think we thought it was. <laughs> uh, it might not be that big of a boss. Oh, jeez. We were doing some good damage from behind. Like there we go. There it is. That's the finishing blow. That was our A, our special. I forget what that's called, but that's that's a special you can do once you fill up the gauge. Let me press A. All right, fancy, good stuff. So, it's gonna be next month. Yeah, just a little longer. You're something else, Mwamba. The pride of Colony 9. Oh, you guys. I finally made it this far. What's up? Well, thing is, I was thinking after this op, I think I'm going to go and put in a transfer to the Salvage Corps. You never know what will happen on the battlefield, right? You can laugh at me if you want. I ain't laughing, man. We've only been alive this long because you've always had our backs. Yep. We owe you a ton. Just make sure you get to your homecoming, okay? Lance. Uni. You guys. Mamba. Now not time to relax tear ducts. Let down guard, and you feel flame clock of someone else. Riku, come on. <laughs> well, you don't mince words. You are right, though. Sorry, Noah. Huh? Oh, no, it's not that. I guess I was just thinking about your homecoming. It made me feel a little sad. Noah. Mwamba, salvage is an important service. Don't feel like you owe us anything. Thank you so much, Noah. Right then, let's get this operation done. Next month's a homecoming! I'd love to make it to my homecoming. Maybe if I'm lucky. Of course you'll make it. We all will. I wonder... I mean, I'm not like you guys. I'm so clumsy. Come on, you're not. What about the last match? You did way better than everyone else. We still lost though, right? It's okay. I've sort of half given up already. Joran? 
Well, at least... Huh? When I do die, I want to at least be of some use. Enough of that! What? Don't talk like that! I've always told you we're a team, haven't I? That means now and always. <sighs> Noah. Noah. Huh? I'm gonna go on ahead. We got a call. Martha's team has a spot for you, apparently. Ah, oh, right. Do me a favor. Come along with me to the office. When you apply. Got it. The commander can be intense. Exactly. Later! <sighs> okay, fam. Well, I have no idea what happens, but I get the feeling that Mwamba's gonna maybe kick the bucket. That's my thought. Let's see how... Fight right or wrong, I might be on that one. But let's uh, let's take down some more enemies. I didn't I didn't play at all between uh, episode two and episode three. I did not touch my switch uh, once to do any leveling up or anything like that. So we're just kind of enjoying the story right from where I left it. My levels are all the same. Everything's all the same. So not too much has changed. Maybe this time I'll do a little bit of grinding just so that we can continue to make our way through the story without too much of a. I'm a delay. I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time during these videos doing what I'm doing right now. Collecting items, fighting monsters. We kind of want to continue, at least I want to continue pushing the story forward in a positive way. Um, and by that I mean getting somewhere, doing something, unlocking more of the story. And stuff. These things don't even attack me anymore? Okay, this one. Is, but, I mean, I just walked past three of them and they did nothing. It could be a result of me being such a higher level. I don't know what the level... Like, th there's a leveling system where if you're so much higher than they are, they won't even attack. Which I think is brilliant. But that level 6 did, even though the level 5 did. Although these level 5s have. So, I don't know. I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason. Okay, all right, well, we'll at least grab the items, and uh, here we are at camp, ready to move on and move out. Um, yeah, this thing here won't attack me. Grab some items. There was, you know what? I ran too far ahead. There was a, back there, there was a body I could have freed and sent back. I'll have to go back. I'll have to double back later and deal with that. We made it to the rendezvous point faster than I thought we would. Mama didn't help us did help us a lot along the way. Mama's team, they're not here yet. Martha's squad was leading the way. They'll be at a different rendezvous point, I expect. The mission hasn't changed. We'll stand by around here till the scheduled start of the operation. Roger that. Should we grab a bite to eat? Good shout. All right, I'm always down for some grub. Noah, something up? Nope. I've just got this uneasy feeling it won't go away. The thing we were talking about before? Mate, you're thinking too hard, as usual. I think it could just be a bit of pressure weighing on you a bit. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But I don't think so. Oh, for snuff's sake. We've still got a bit of time. How about blowing off a bit of steam with a quick sparring sesh? Huh? Come on, we've got the operation soon. Shouldn't we just rest? Nah, this is exactly the sort of time you want to get your heart rate up. Nothing like going toe-to-toe -to, -toe to get out of to get out of your head. It really helps you focus. Never mind empty-headed proposals of lands, Noah. Shut it, fluff bag. Rico vote for having a mindful moment in a quiet place, checking in on the state of self. Okay. Thank you, Lance. Why don't we have a training bit now so we can give it everything in the battle? 
Nice. All right, so apparently we're going to spar, which means we're probably going to learn something new. Or maybe not. At rest spots, you can perform an action such as leveling up characters with bone XP or saving the game. You can also go to any spot you found using skip travel. The amount of things you can do at a rest spot will increase as you progress the story. Okay, so we found a forward post camp. Uh, you usually increase levels through XP gain in battle, but by selecting level up at a rest spot, you can use bonus XP to increase your character's level. Cool. So let's interact. We could do with some food. And raise your level. On the level up screen, you can use bonus XP to increase your character's levels. How do I do that? So they're save, clean clothes, clean all your equipment, level up. Next, select the character you want to level up. Let's go with Noah. Okay, so we select Noah. Now select the level you want. Once you run out of bonus XP, you cannot level up any further. Well, um, I guess we can only go up one, so let's click one. And Noah leveled up just like that. Next, let's raise Uni's level. Okay, so we'll go to Uni. Confirm. We'll go over and increase Uni's level. And let me guess, we're going to raise lands. So let's go to lands. Yeah, move it over. 10, raise that. There we go, not bad. Definitely feels stronger. Oh, we're sparring, are we? Here we go. We didn't learn anything new except for leveling up with bonus XP. I don't know how you get bonus XP. But, um, and the game doesn't really tell you, does it, how you get bonus XP. That's kind of weird. It's almost time. Let's review the details of the operation. Our mission objective lies in Alfado Valley. An unidentified ether source has been reported. We are tasked with, with surveying it and destroying it. Waypoint marked on the map now. Please to have look at waypoint on map. The advancing the advance party should have already arrived at the planned contact point. It's time we head out to them. Let's get the snuff out of here. A royal decree, eh? I don't know about all this. But let's get out there and square it away as quick as we can. Agreed, Lance. You're a brilliant fella. We've been spotted. Okay, we're back at it. Um, there's nothing more here. Can we go back to this fire and do it again? We cannot. Is this thing coming to attack us, or what's it doing? Oh, it is. Okay. Well. I didn't think these things would attack, but apparently it's going to. And we've toppled it, so now we gotta daze it. And someone's gotta launch this thing. Who's gotta move? Who's gotta move to launch him? Launch him, somebody! No one. Apparently, no one has a move to do the launch. Oh, with the killing blow. Okay, here's the forward camp again. I just wanna quickly check something. Clean equipment. Okay, what does this in. mean? Okay, apparently it's done. That's that's oh, really strange. Let's be off. All right, let's move out. Let's move out and see what Whoa, this royal decree is all about. Right I have a feeling we may learn something new. I don't want to do this, but you're in our way. Leave I forget what the blue means. I think it means it's just a tough enemy. I could be. He's tough on him. He's taking a long time to take him down. He's not even an half healthy. That's Crazy. We're gonna hit him with this, and then we're gonna hit him with this. There. Ooh, that was good. That was killer. We conquered an elite. We got an elite bonus. Well, they were no match so it's us. worth finding those ones do? with the little blue Making around them. Those are the elite death. ones. Take those things down. Get bonus XP. It is the way to go. All right, here we are.
It's really supposed to be here. I don't see much. Shh. Agnian troops. Seriously? They're still far off. They haven't spotted us. Going in? We don't have permission to engage. The only thing we need to focus on is our target. Heads up. Enemies at two o'clock. Go tell the main force. I'm worried about more Amber and the others. I think we'll go on alone. Okay then. I'll handle it. Yeah, I would be worried about Mwambla. It's not going to end well for him, I don't think. Sadly. Sadly, so foreshadowing. Want this thing too, huh? So let's move in what on this area. You can see the little bit of... Um, Come here. I got the, something for oh, it's these things right here. It's like, what is it? This plant attacking me? Yeah, it's not... It's not... Oh, it's not... Oh, it's not... It's not... Alright. Oh, man. Everything wants a piece. Oh, I gotta pull my sword out. Take this quick. I got something for you. Thanks. We're just trying to get to our next uh, waypoint. You know, we, we just want to so, uh, fulfill this royal decree. The and these monsters keep huh. trying to stop us. Like, what is this crap? Whoa, got a rare dude all right here. All right, more story, I assume. Is that it? It's not Cavessi. Definitely not Agni and either. The spark is that. Started without us. We need to keep moving. Head to the target. You got it. Okay, onwards. We need to avoid to battle to and head I think for we the avoid target. Confrontation with Agnes. Ooh, that hurt. That's all well and good, but if Which we should be able to do, I think. I don't think it no should be too difficult to down. accomplish that. Worth looking around all the corners, though. We're looking for chests or crates, and we're looking for people that we can uh, far off or whatever it is. Oversee, far see, whatever you call it. All right, get those things out. Let's get this thing down. I got something for you. Thanks. I do like as like the attacking force or the main force. They don't, the, the thing doesn't necessarily go for you. It's not like it's focused completely on your character. It's actually fighting like it normally would fight. Which allows you to do a lot of maneuvering you might not be able to do in other games. Where like baddies just focus on your character regardless. Like regardless of what might be going on around him. He's going to focus on you. But that doesn't seem to be the case in this game. At least not so far. I've been able to always sneak behind the enemy and do some damage. Every once in a while, he turns around and focuses on me. But for the most part, he's dealing with all that group of people right in front of him, which is, which is nice.
filling up. Interesting. We found ourselves a new uh, location. That's just this fire. Like decent, right? Let's uh, go help out this, these guys. Here we go, let's guys. Get to work. Let's Sounds like later you're gonna be able to choose which faction you help in certain fights, which Enemy could be very interesting me. for the storyline. Like, are these are these factions not Fighting doing what's best right. for the people? Right. It's gonna be very interesting to see how this plays out later. I'm actually really looking forward to that. It's one of the more unique features of this game that I'm actually really excited about. Where we got silver no pun coin. I wish we could have avoided that. So, uh, when's the battle happening? All right, onward. We just keep moving along. This off is getting weirder by the minute. I know. But if we can only get to the These guys don't even fight us. Oh, they do when I stop. Okay, I was gonna say they're not even trying to. But they're only level five. Like I can't expect too much from them in terms of the fight. I, I think. You know, I just have to deal with it being an easy fight. I'm a level 10 or level 5. This is just how it works. I love that move when I like plow right through them with my sword. That's such a good move. Maybe sidestep this little fight. And just keep on moving. inside. They're automatons. Interesting. What the heck do we have here? I mean, they're not very strong again. Only a level 7 and a level 9. So I can't expect too much from them. But I'm a little shocked at how quickly they're going down. I thought these would be a harder fight. And we don't know what these are, right? These are new robots to us. They're not from the, obviously, they're not from the other tribe or the other colony or whatever we want to call them. This is something entirely and wholly new. Oh, that one's down. So don't try to under outrun these things, that's what I learned. Because they'll just catch up with you and fight you. So deal with them accordingly, folks. Oh, this thing is done. That was a fantastic plan. Let's get behind this one. I love you. I love getting the, the advantage. And again, not seeing something that's too hard to do. There we go. Let's grab that broken power core. Anything interesting over here? 
I don't mind exploring just a wee little bit. The girl of flavor lowlands. I, I'm I'm waiting for something to get more interesting in terms of the biomes. I'm not there yet. Is that it? Fighting both of them? That's gonna be a tough break. But what did I expect? They'll do just about anything for our precious Ouroboros stone. Gunnika! That's the last of the automatons! We won't last long! The battle units still hold it! Go! Save yourself! Get that stone to the city! Go! Zuo! those automatons now another unknown weapon what in the flames are we even fighting no not just us agnes too so you made it this far it'll have to be here noah look is that a man he's no agony and soldier what is he? Was he controlling those automatons, maybe? about the only ones left. And there's our objective. Noah! Yeah. We'll have to fight. Mio? Got it. Are these the troops we're going to end up joining up with? Level eight characters. I mean, we're making quick work of the Agnes Defender, um, but there's still more of them. I'm curious to see if these are the three that we're going to join up. With. We're gonna about to find out pretty soon. Enemy's broken away 
There it is. That was a big blow. Sorry, I'm not talking much. I'm really enjoying the combat here. A lot of people are not a fan of the auto attack. I'm I put me on the list of people who is a fan. I don't hate the auto attack. Where you just control the artists and stuff like that in the specials. I'm actually okay with it. We'll learn more. Right here, I bet. These kids are going to end up stealing each other's life force. And me. I've robbed them even of that kindness. You're way too slow! He blocked it? No way! For a little munchkin, you sure packed a real wallop! Ugh. How many of those cards has this geek got? There's no escape. When my Mondo have you, they'll follow you to the ends of the world. Why don't you back off? <sighs> How did she fool my Mondo? Creep, try following that. <sighs> These guys are tough. I hate to say it, but I think you're right. These are no grunts. That gear, special forces? Yeah, defo. That'll be why they've got an off-seer with them. Well, so are we. Even Stevens, right? Stopped. When did that? <sighs> At this rate, one of us is going to get killed. No, maybe both of us will. Something strange is going on. We shouldn't be fighting like this. We should run. <sighs> run. Was it me who just said that? What is this? There's no time to think. I have to trust my gut. This is all too real. I hope I'll be able to get through to her. You're an Oxia from Agnes, right? What the? So you are then. Why are you fighting me? 
As if you can talk. You're the ones attacking us. What, too scared to fight now? Too late! It's not to do with fear. It's that sound. You can hear it too, I know you can! We're fighting because there are enemies to kill. You think we'd have let you go? Uh, oh, this is bad. At this rate... Is that all you have to say, Agnes? I'm telling you! Enough! I'm telling you that you're full of it! Take that! Do I really have to kill her? But she's so fast. If I lose focus for a second, I'm done for. These Kavethi officers. I thought they were just window dressing, but he's different. And there's his sword. What's up with that? Huh? What's that? Oh, I see. I suppose this is the reason I'm here then, eh? <laughs> Guess this is what they call fate. Fine then. Time for Guernica Van Dam to make an entrance. What the? What do you all think you're doing? Why the fighting? What's this guy saying? Just uh... why? Answer me! What do you mean, why? If I see an enemy, I fight. So don't you interfere! Ugh. Pull the wool from your eyes, kid. Think about your real target. That thing. And me. Now you just have your little scrap. Do you have any idea who the real enemy is? It's over! <laughs> now, is that all you need to fight? Truly? That's all? Of course. Countless comrades have lost their lives thanks to this filth. Oh, really now? I could say the exact same thing. What do you think it's like for us? Losing friend after friend. You steal everything from us. You think we're even just because both sides do some killing? What good's filling up these flickering clocks in our eyes? It'll never replace the friends we've lost. That's why. We aren't fighting because we want to. We're not. We can see our lives written before our eyes. Fighting is all we have. Is it any wonder we lose loved ones? I have to take them from others. All of us. We have to fight so we can go on living. <sighs> Just who decided that this was how it should be? If I knew who they were or where I'd... I know who they are. You'll what? <gasps> You're an officer, eh? I guess I can trust you with this. You better listen up now, because the face of your real enemy is... Before? No, how could I have? Noah, 
No, never. This is no normal creature. It's something else. Oi, oi! Don't go stopping on my account! Get back to killing each other! Come on! I thought that was your whole raison d'etre! It's... speaking! No, Mobius! What's wrong? Too worried about your buddies to fight? Can't have that. All right. You scum! Oh, wow! This is some entertainment. Two rival factions murdering each other over one little rock. Well, your objective is staring you in the face. Try and take it. Course, you'll be dead before you can lay a finger on it. Don't you just love it? Don't you want to savor it? The sweet taste of a life cut short. Ah, you mother! Wait! Lance! Uni! You killed her! Me? Sparks! <sighs> Him alone. Let him go. Don't get on your high horse. You are nothing more than a grunt. Noah. You've got a real death wish. Maybe I'll take care of you first. Come on back. Alright, that was a stupid long cutscene, but at least now we know what we're dealing with. This is not a common run-of-the-mill enemy. We're not fighting the other faction anymore. In fact, we are now teaming up with those three, so there's six of us in total, which is good to see. I'm excited about that. And um, right now, we're dealing with this guy pretty handedly. Uh, he's already less than half health, uh, and we're all in good shape. He's level 10, we're level 10. I'm sure this is not all it's cracked up to be. I'm sure this is just kind of an introduction thing where we're going to take him down or something like that, and then we'll see what the story takes us from. We're now kind of fighting as one with the quote-unquote enemies. Um, but we now have a new common threat. And that common threat apparently is going to be this guy. Which is good. Bye, money. There we go. Killing boy. Thanks for that. If you're done thanking me, maybe you can get up. We have to beat him together or we're dead in the mud. Get out the way. You're just slowing me down. The nerve on this guy. Start working. Work! Uh, if 
you don't start up soon. Those kids! And the world! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Looks like it wasn't all for nothing. Uh. One down. Good start. Fighting now is our Ouroboros, and that is the form we take um, when we are one with each other. So myself and the other Offseer have come together to form this Ouroboros, and we took on this shape. And now we're doing, um, obviously our, our moves are Phantom Flash, Dragon Tail, Unison Strike, and then we have a Mega Spinning Edge as our kind of extra powerful art move. So I'm, I don't know if we're going to see that during this fight, um, but it would be cool if we did. So as you can see in the top corner, Noah and Mio are kind of one character right now. Very cool, very fun. It's slow. This character, this this giant, this whatever you want to call this Ouroboros, I guess that is what we will call it. This Ouroboros, and let's use our stuff. I think so special there. Look at that! Wow, that's awesome! <laughs> Pretty good! Well, what a tough one! We'll say I lost this one, yeah? Who is he talking to? No idea. But... <laughs> Don't 
parting gift for you. Don't worry, there's plenty to go around. Was that you guys just now? Mio, what's happening here? What's going on? I don't... <gasps> <gasps> Hold it right there. You guys, put away your weapons. You aren't... You're not enemies now. We're not? Then... <clears throat> Skin's all wrinkled. Yeah. <laughs> it's called getting old, this. Old? Well, must be your first time, huh? Seeing a human like me, I mean. <clears throat> well then, looks like my plan was a success. What plan? You six. You're now Uroboros. Check the flame clocks in your irises. Do they look different to you? Huh? <gasps> now you mention it. Our flame clocks have changed shape. You said that's the Uroboros ring. Guess I did good. Entrusting this power to you. <gasps> that mark there. Late tenth term, eh? Three months left. Till your homecoming, that about right? Hmm. <laughs> As for the rest of you, you're probably about two years off, right? Uh, uh, me. I've been alive 60 years. Or should I say 60 terms by your counting? Yeah, I've been alive six times longer than you lot. This is how people are really meant to be. Listen, folks, that's not all. There's still something else that needs to be done. <sighs> you guys, you want to survive? Live on? Hold the torch? You kids don't need to be fighting each other. Not anymore. But... That doesn't mean you get to relax. From this moment on, those Mobius bastards are never gonna leave you alone. Because now, kids, you share a common destiny. They'll hunt you constantly, relentlessly without rest. Even so, there's one place that might give you a chance. Sword March. The land pierced by a great sword. You gotta find our hope. Our city. It's the only way you're gonna defeat the real enemy. And reclaim what was lost. The way the world and life should be. And listen. Don't give up. Ten years? You kids deserve better. The only thing that can change all this is the will of Ouroboros. You kids, and you alone.
Hey, is she? Yeah, an Agni and Offseer. Thank you for doing this with me. Well, this is what we're meant to do. To send on the voices of the departed is an offseer's purpose. To send on the voices of the departed is an offseer's purpose. Right. We're leaving. Noah, uni. What's up? The mission's over. We've got an obligation. Need to report the sitch. As do we. Time to withdraw. Mio, Senna. Huh? But... But what? Uh, come on, Tyon. Don't be rude. It's hardly the time for pleasantries. We lost a great many of our comrades. We have to inform those still in the colony. And we're any different? If you snuffheads hadn't come charging in. Indeed. Well, why don't we settle this here, right now? Yeah? Bring it. I reckon I could go for some payback. Lance. Yeah? That's enough. What do you mean? There's no point. Seriously? Before, when she and I transformed, I felt her thoughts. Or maybe her memories. There were so many. And then they were a part of me. There were so many different fragments, hard to tell them apart. But even then, I understood. She's... She's lost a lot fighting us. Kevez took away so much. She's experienced a lot of grief. Transformed? You mean, forbidden? Yeah. I felt it as well. Your grief. It was like mine. Yeah, well... And in one of those memories... Mio. It's something that could be our fault. That's what it's like in war, I suppose. Mm. So, what is planned from here? Some kind enough to show face. But we'll hide again if this drag on. True, true. Time is wasting itself. You're right. Let's go. A lot's happened, but that seems best. You made the right decision, Lance. Sorry for confusing things. Nah, uh, don't worry about it. Mio, should we leave it at that? Um, yeah. There you have it. I sincerely hope for your safe return. You take care too. Take care not to die in a ditch somewhere, that is. The next time we meet, it will be as enemies. Don't forget that. Ha! Don't worry, I've got a good memory. Hmm.
this has been super story heavy, which is okay. We have to get the story out of the way at some point. It's the enemy. The enemy's approaching. Our sworn enemy. Hey, you okay? Huh? I mean, you and the Agnian Offseer transformed into the weird thing. Yeah, well, for what it's worth, that didn't seem to do any damage or anything. Hey, Uni, go ahead and take point looking for hostiles, will you? Until we make it back to Colony 9? Gotcha. Lance, that's not really Ness. You're the most depleted out of the lot of us, mate. It's a long way to Colony 9. If you want to make it back in one piece, you'll need to be careful. Much fight on the way back, probably. Yeah, you've got a point. So we done? Can we head on? I'm now controlling Uni. Uni takes the healer role in her class's Medic Gunner. Healers play an extremely important role as they can restore hit points, re revive incapacitated allies, and provide various other means of support. Uh, using the arts that place field effects on the battlefield will cause the talent art icon to flash green and your talent art gauge will charge up a lot. Actions that support your allies, such as applying buffs, remove debuffs, or raise fallen allies, also count as role actions, cha charging your talent, gauge, talent art gauge hit bit by bit. By gaining the power of the Ouroboros, the party were freed from the shackles of the Flame Clock. Okay. Um, and now it's a long way back. I mean, we're not going to make it all the way to the colony. We're going to get stopped a little bit before. But I do think that this is probably a great time to finish up this episode. We're over an hour in. And it's been a lot of fun playing with you guys. Um, I want to give a quick shout out to all of our awesome supporters. Tutalica, Gladiator, Olga, Minin, Kyrie, Carmelo, Brenda, Alexis, Homie Drew, Gisela, Danny, Total Blank, Ian, Four Scars, Gaming, Amy Grace, Jake, Arenas, Glory, Garrett, Peters, Ada, Amila, Marge. Thank you guys for your continued support of the channel. If you want to join this great group of folks, get access to some unique... Um, emojis and stuff like that you can join by hitting the join button down below or by going to the patreon link in the description box we want to shout out total blank as well he has been keeping our discord running well as well as matt c for the cool little overlays the one you see in the corner if you made a donation this episode or became a member or subscribed you probably saw something else on the screen matt c did all that work and matt i cannot thank you enough for that but thank you guys again we will be back with more xenoblade chronicles 3 before you know it but until then have a fantastic rest of your day. Goodbye.